Hello guys, this video is all about uh, making PowerPoint slides. So, with this video, I'm going to give you tips and guidelines on how to make your PowerPoint slides. The, uh, the topics to be covered or the tips that will be given to you is based on the following. We have outlines, slide structure, the fonts, the color, the background, graphs, the spelling and grammar, and conclusions. So, but before we start, um, in creating a PowerPoint presentation, it is very important that you have to answer first the following uh, three questions. First, who will be your audience? So, the type of audience that, that you will be presenting to will determine the theme or the mode of, or the mood of uh, the presentation that you will be giving. Number two, uh, where is the venue of your presentation? So, it is also a basis for creating a PowerPoint presentation where are you going to present your presentations and number three uh, what is the allotted time given to you what is the allotted time given to you to present your uh, presentation so these are the three uh, factors that you have to consider before uh, creating your PowerPoint slides so for the outline you have to make sure that your first and the second slide uh, of your presentation is your outline. So meaning to say, uh, the first slide should be your name and the type of presentation you will be presenting. The second slide will be the content or the outline of your presentation. Also, you have to follow the order of your outline for the rest of your presentation. So meaning to say, um, if you have set five um, outlines for the presentation, see to it that you present them in order. Okay, only place main points on the outline slide. So the PowerPoint presentation is not a venue for you to capture everything, all the paragraph and sentences in your presentation. So meaning to say, your PowerPoint presentation is only an outline of what you are going to present. So see to it that you use the titles of each slide as your main uh, points. For the slide structure, a good slide structure uses only one to two slides per minute of your presentation. So you have to rehearse your presentation and see to it that you only consume uh, one minute for one to two slides. Number two is you have to write in point form, not complete sentences. Since your PowerPoint presentation, it is only a, an outline of what you are presenting. See to it that you don't copy uh, paragraph or complete sentences in your uh, PowerPoint presentation. Next is you have to include only four to five points per slide. So no more than five uh, lines. One thing also to consider is you have to avoid wordiness. So meaning to say you have to use only keywords and phrases. So this is one uh, example of a bad slide structure. So as you can see this page contains many words for a presentation slide and it is not written in point form making it difficult for you for your audience to read and for you to present each point although uh, there are exactly the same number of points on the slide as previous slide it looks like um, much more complicated in short your audience will spend too much time trying to read this paragraph instead of listening to you another good point in making slide structure is that you, ho you only have to show one point at a time so there are transitions uh, in, in PowerPoint presentation wherein you need not to present everything at one slide. So meaning to say you have to show one point at a time. Why? Because it will help your audience concentrate on what you are saying. Number two, it will prevent audience from reading ahead. Of course, if you are going to show them everything in a slide, there's a tendency that your uh, audience will not be listening to you anymore because they have already read uh, ahead of uh, the topic that you are presenting and then it will help you keep your presentation focused so to get the proper attention of the audience uh, that you are presenting to see to it that you show one point at a time meaning do not show everything at one slide a bad uh, slide structure also uh, contained number one distracting animation so although animations are free see to it that you minimize the use of uh, using animations and then do not go overboard the animation meaning to say you have to only use animation if it is necessary and usually we use animation only at the uh, 
beginning of the slides or the presentation and then be consistent with the animation that you use I meaning to say if you use a fade uh, as a transition see to it that you use the same transitions uh, until the end of your presentation for the fonts uh, these are the good points that you have to consider in making or selecting the font so you have to use at least a 28 point size and then you have to use different font size for the main points and secondary points so usually we have the main topic and the subtopic see to it that these two uh, should not have the same font size so if the font size is 24 the main point uh, font should be 28 and the title should be 36 so there should be a difference between a main point and secondary point uh, with the use of a uh, font size and then for standard you have to use font like Times New Roman or Arial a font is bad if you use a small font your audience will be able to read what you have written so see to it that you have to consider also uh, your audience in your, power, your PowerPoint presentation so see to it that they would be able to read even if they are at the back of the room capitalize only when necessary it is difficult to read so usually we use only capitals for the main points okay and of course do not use complicated font for color a good color of font that contrasts sharp, sharply with the background so meaning to say if the background is uh, dark see to it that your font is uh, light and if your background is light see to it that your font is dark so use color to enforce the logic of your structure so light blue text and dark blue text use color to emphasize a point but only use this occasionally so if you want to emphasize on certain words in your presentation see to it that you uh, use color only to that to a certain point uh, bad color combinations are presented on the screen so make sure that you have to avoid uh, using these color combinations as well as uh, using them in your slides a good background such as these are one that are attractive but uh, simple so there are a lot of backgrounds that you're going to use for free see to it that you only use a uh, background which is appropriate to the type of presentation that you are presenting so you use backgrounds which are light so that you could put a uh, text which are dark because uh, our main purpose here is for the audience to capture what you are presenting so you use the same background consistently throughout your presentation so when, if you have selected already a background uh, that you, or a theme that you're going to use in your presentation see to it that you don't change them uh, until the last uh, slide of your presentation so this is one uh, example of a bad background so avoid backgrounds that are distracting or difficult to read from and of course you have to always be consistent with the background that you use now in presenting uh, numbers you have to use graphs rather than just charts and words so data in graphs is easier to comprehend and retain than in raw data so if you're going to present uh, numbers or numerical values see to it that you don't uh, put them in a table but rather you put them in a graph and always remember that always title your graphs so this is a, a bad example of a graph and this is a good example of a graph so if, if you can see a graph should have a title and it is uh, easily understood if it is represented in a numbers are easily understood or numerical values are easily understood if it is uh, presented in a graph this is also a bad uh, type of graph because uh, minor gra uh, grid lines are unnecessary font is too small colors are illogical the title is missing and shading is distracting so you have to avoid these things in uh, uh, using graphs in your presentation spelling and grammar so before 
to win your presentation, you have to prove your slides for number one, spelling mistakes. So see to, it, see to it also that when you're going to present, there are no misspelled words in your presentation. Likewise, you have to check the use of repeated words. So see to it that repeated words are avoided uh, in using a PowerPoint presentation in presenting using a PowerPoint presentation and lastly which is very important also you have to check that your uh, presentation is grammatically uh, correct and uh, it is written in a good is grammatically is grammatically correct so if English is not your first language please have someone check your presentation so it is always a uh, good to have uh, someone to check your presentation before you present it. For conclusion, you have to use an effective and strong closing. Why? Your audience is likely to remember your last words. So usually, uh, a phrase or a, a summary of what you have presented is a good uh, conclusion slide. And lastly, of course, uh, your, la your last slide should always contain a, a thank you note for, uh, as a sign of gratitude for your uh, uh, re readers and your audience for listening to your presentation.